Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago here. And today we're going to do a simple activity to work on figuring out when to use ser and estar with food. So we will be using ser when it is la comida en general. In other words, food that's in an original package and it could be the original package from nature. Or when to use a star. A star is used when it's mi comida and mi plato. So if it's your food that's on top of your plate, ready to be eaten, then it's a star. Remember, ser, general description, characteristic, or a star, condition of the food on your plate. Okay, let's give it a shot. Ser or de star. Think, is it on my plate or in general? This one is a star because the food is sitting on your plate. Ser or estar? This would be ser because the food is in its original package. Ser or estar? This one would be ser because the fish is in its original package like at the store, not on your plate, not cooked. Ser or estar. This would be estar. Los bizcochitos están en tu plato. Listo para comer. Mmm, delicioso. Ser o estar. Estar. Esto es la comida de Día de Acción de Gracias. So that meal is ready to go. It's on your plate. Estar. Ser o estar? Estar. This little salad is on your plate, ready to be eaten. Ser o estar? This would be ser. Because the meat is not cooked, it's in the original package getting ready to be cooked. So you could describe it in general. Ser o estar? This would be estar. Those hamburgers and french fries are ready to be eaten. Ser o estar? This is ser because all of these foods are in their original packages. Las fresas es son deliciosas. Las papitas fritas están frescos if you're eating them. Los platanos son amarillos, general. Ser or estar? This one is a star because your microwave pasta is ready to go. Ser or estar? Ser, the cheese is in its original format. Ser or estar? Estar. El pollo, maíz y papas están en tu plato. Qué delicioso. Tengo hambre. Yo quiero comer. Okay, so you did a great job. I hope you figured out Sarah Estar before I said the answers. Gracias.